Whoops. All right. Welcome back to the big board. I've only got a few minutes here, so I want to touch base on Race to the Sea 1914. It's a Herman Lutman uh, game, and it's a, it's got a lot of neat features to it. Came in the uh, Yar magazine January 2017 edition, and I've played uh, three or four turns, and unfortunately I have to pack it up. But I think what I, I want to share with you is that the game has a uh, a unique combat resolution uh, model, B, relatively good quality components, C, clear and uh, concise rules, uh, clocking in about nine pages, and D, uh, obviously interesting topic, uh, set in World War One, and uh, then I think uh, E would be that the, the use of cards for initiative and actions during the turn and the use of cards to resolve combat, meaning it's a diceless system, uh, makes for a lot of fun. However, for me, it's not a great game to play solo because in this case, you actually want to take your, your individual uh, counters, oops, individual counters and have them all uh, face down and play. I'm playing it solo, it's really not gonna work. So I'm playing it face up. It takes a little bit of the uh, suspense and the excitement and fog of war out of the game a little bit and kind of uh, removes the value of uh, cavalry scouting uh, activities and things like that. So all in all though, I had, a, uh, I had a lot of fun with coming to terms with the system because it's, it's slightly different than anything else you're going to encounter. It does have a very nice player aid for each side that outlines what all the different actions are that you can conduct, move, fire combat, assault combats, uh, doing uh, rebuilds or reorgs as the case may be and uh, those types of things so it, it is it is giving you a pretty rich feel for World War One combat at that core level I would say I think most of these units you would say they're cores or um, or divisions and uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed it now the the thing that I would suggest to you is take your time with the rules, skim through them once, set the game up, and then start moving some pieces and conducting some actions to understand the, uh, the nuances of the game because there are several little sections in, in the rules for assaults, for instance, that will have you, uh, you might be scratching your head, but when you actually go back and reread the rules and read the wording, the wording is very clear and very concise. And in fact, in some of the rule, uh, the, some of the rule sections, it's actually italicized where they're trying to highlight the point, right? So, a lot of fun. Interesting game uh, topic. I was actually listening to the Dan Carlin uh, Hardcore History uh, or in regards to World War I, and I would, uh, I would thoroughly recommend you listening to, I believe it's episode two, which covers the race to the sea. Have this set up, play the game, you're gonna have a blast and you'll enjoy it. It's a very inexpensive title to get hold of and uh, the, co the counter quality from Yar Magazines has come up significantly. Artwork's quite good. Uh, I did have one or two problems cutting out the counters, so you're gonna have to be very careful cutting the counters out, but thickness and all the rest of it are great. And uh, as I said, in the rules, uh, it's all full color rule book as well. Uh, inside the magazine you, know, you can probably make a photocopy if you want to but uh, got some nice random events uh, that, that hit the game as well so very quick capsule overview of, uh, of the game and my experience with it and uh, we'll be playing this at the game store at some point in the near future with uh, uh, I think it'll be much much better opposed than, than solo look forward to talking to you soon thanks for checking in at the big board later